day how are we all doing please excuse my appearance i am um, have i have actually managed to put a jumper on over the top of my pajama bottoms it is 9 15 i've just finished editing yesterday's video and that is exporting and while that happens just must show you what a lovely frosty morning it is look frost on the garage roof there and down in the field it's a very blue sky sunshiny frosty morning we were going to go out for a walk earlier and we were very lazy and sat in bed and watched i'm a celebrity i know who won but um i won't say it in case anybody else is still catching up with it i've got just finished the second to last episode and i've got the last one still to go really have enjoyed it this year anyway i'm going to fill up my squirrel proof bird feeder and go and hang it outside I've filled it with sunflower seeds, which are the squirrel's favourite, so let's go and find somewhere to hang it. I need to break the ice on the bird bath as well. Um, it's the first time it's frozen over this winter, I think. So. Oh, it's a nip in the air. Blimey, that's chilly. I think we're going to have sausage sandwiches for breakfast as it's Sunday. Ashley's... Um, going to let's take that one off Ashley's going to pop out and get some bread because we haven't got any bread from Sainsbury's so that would be nice right I'm hanging it there I mean I know the squirrel can climb the pole so um, hopefully he won't be able to get into it but we shall see because I'm sure he'll be turning up any minute now right that's the ice broken on there that's Pull some of these leaves out. Oh God, that's cold. There we are. Oh, that should be a bit better for them. Oh, squirrel will definitely be here if you've put sunflower seeds in that feeder. Let's switch them for this one. sunflower seeds onto this one over here which is nearer the window so I can see it more clearly from the window so someone in my YouTube comments uh, I can't remember who it was so apologies for that suggested that instead of washing makeup sponges I've shown you before how I wash them I do a fairy liquid and olive oil or any type of oil actually will do instead of doing that put them inside a sock in the washing machine and I'm a little bit sceptical as to whether that will work. However, I'm going to give it a go because I hate washing these. It's a real horrible job. Um, I'm not going to put them in a sock. I'm going to put them in like a bra net, I think. Um, and I'm not actually doing laundry today. So, but I will let you know how they come out. I'll show you on the day that I do do laundry, which will be in a couple of days time. Right, well, we're in here, might as well do today's advent calendar. And we need at number six, which is down here, look. What have we got in number six? It is Dermalogica. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Oh, I don't know if we can do it here. Hang on, we might have to move to the bed because of the sunlight. Beautiful sunlight, but not good for filming there at the moment. Okay, this is Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse, which is effectively a makeup remover, I think. Um, this is what it looks like. It is 30 mils size, um, and it says on the little card, I am an oil-based first step formula that improves your cleanser's performance. Olive, apricot, and cuckoo nut oils, melt away makeup oil and impurities. With added water, I turn into a milky emulsion that sort uh, excuse my uh, inability to speak this morning. With added water, I turn into a milky emulsion that gently soothes oily skin. Now, I don't know if this is just for oily skin, but I'm guessing probably not. I don't definitely don't have oily skin, but um, I like the sound of that. It's not a product I've tried. I have used some dermatological things in the past, but haven't not in recent times. And I like the idea of an oily makeup remover that, um, you know, emulsifies. That I, I like that. That's a good thing. Um, 
yes that sounds good value wise again i'm feeling a little bit skeptical about the um value of the liberty advent calendar unless it picks up soon i think it's very unlikely that it really is nearly 800 pounds worth of stuff in there i have to say although surely they wouldn't be allowed to say so um so this size is actually for sale the 30 mil size for 12 pounds um so that is a 12 pound value there again the same similar value to the aromatherapy associates and what was the thing yesterday something else yesterday we had i've just edited the bloody video with it in you'd think i'd know wouldn't you i have to walk over to the box and see what it was What's in the oh it was the nars lip pencil wasn't it um the red one so yes i i'm feeling skeptical as i'm liking the products don't get me wrong I, it's a good selection nice brands all that sort of thing but I thought the value was going to be more. I've never concentrated so much on the value before because um, I don't know if it's because I spent more on this year's advent calendar or what, but um, yeah, interesting. Let's see how it progresses. Look at how jolly this is, lovely YouTube viewers. Mr. Matthews is in a foul mode, mending Christmas lights. Why am I cheapskate? Why am I cheapskate? So we just discussed last year, I said, buy the tree with the lights actually built into the tree and you they were no, no, they were strung onto the tree they were yeah well, it was crap actually um, so we had to unstring them last yeah. year because they were such a mess after i cut through the box and cut them in half last year oh god and, and somehow they've got all cut up again this year so i'll be rewiring those now i wonder if when we put the christmas tree in the box it cut through them somehow have you mentioned <laughs> that we were we were watching Nazi hunters on the table. Oh, yeah. Christmas tree up. Uh, I was putting the Christmas tree up there, you see. And I said to Ashley, I do believe that when you're putting the Christmas tree up, you're meant to have jolly Christmas music or a nice Christmas film on, not bloody Nazi hunters documentary. But look. Now? Oh, no, they can't yeah. listen, can they? Not allowed yeah, they to. Oh, yeah. Like, Sorry, yes. Close your ears. <laughs> <laughs> He's only saying you're not allowed to because of um, um, copyright. I can't put adverts on if um, my music is copyrighted. It's quite a while since I had a pamper session on a Sunday. Excuse the stain on my jumper. It's actually only water. I've just gone to drink some water out of my bottle. The lid wasn't on properly, so it um, spilt all over me. I'm having a Sunday pamper session. It's a long time since I've done that. And my body feels the need for it, and my mind probably. Across my face, my nose, my cheeks, and on my chin at the moment, I have this Origins Retexturizing Rose Clay Mask, I think it's called. Yeah, something like that. So I don't use a lot of clay mask, and I certainly don't use it all over my face because I find it very drying. However, it's great for just pulling out all the impurities that you get around your nose and there in your chin. So I tend to just use it there. So I'm just waiting for that to dry. And um, once it dries off, it starts cracking a little bit, then it's ready to come off. Then I'm gonna do a peel, which is the Ordinary AHA BHA, the red one, which I've talked about many times. And when that comes off, I'm going to have a lovely shower with an exfoliating body scrub. Let me just get my gloves out. Where's my exfoliating gloves? Oh, do you know, I think I threw them away because they'd all discoloured and I haven't bought any new ones. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? I'll have to get some. Um, yes, so I'll be having a shower with this, which is gorgeous. It's um, beauty pie. I've talked about it before. And it smells of just divine. It smells like marmalade. It's a marmalade smell in that and I love it. It's really good. I'm going to give my feet a bit of a treatment with this frankly terrifying looking, maybe I'm not because it looks like the batteries have gone. I'm going to go find some new batteries for this terrifying foot deep skinner, I don't know, what exfoliator I guess. And then when I've done all that, I'm going to do the foot thing before I go in the shower, I've got a hydrating foot mask. And this, Garnier Vitamin C Shot Mask. Um, I've never used one of these, but it says it brightens and evens complexion. I certainly feel like I need some brightening. The light in here is horrific, it's really frightening. But um, 
yeah so that's what i'm going to do all the while watching some youtube catching up on some vlogmas pottering around my bedroom oh my god <laughs> i just started apropos of nothing oh that made me jump <laughs> lordy blimey i could have had a heart attack live on youtube <laughs> there not live but hmm um i don't need to find any new batteries now so it appears to be working perfectly how strange and that was a truly lovely pamper session, but it's made me feel so lazy. I really don't want to do anything, but there's stuff that needs to do. I really want to just sit and watch telly or films for the rest of the day. But I really want to get the Christmas tree decorated today. But even more than that, I want to um, sort through the big black unit in William's room and not really saw through it but tidy it and dust it and clean it and um, all of that stuff because the cleaner's coming tomorrow she doesn't always do his room because he's obviously not here so he's shut up most of the time but um yeah I want to get his she's doing his room tomorrow so I really want to get that unit done before such time as she comes in before tomorrow god sorry I can't even put a bloody sentence together can I Right, I am making coffee to try and get myself going. Let me find somewhere to bet. Actually, I'm not going to be able to balance you for this. I wanted to show you some. So you know I bought my milk frother last week. Just made myself a milk a frothy coffee. And I bought myself this set of Christmas themed... Actually, they're not... That's just stars. So is it? Sorry, you can't see it very well, can you? I want to put one on top of that. Yes. Um, Christmas themed for sprinkling or your chocolate or I, I prefer cinnamon on the top of my frothy coffee chocolate sprinkles or cinnamon or whatever and um, I'm gonna give one a go. I got them from eBay. Let's um, pop it on there like so I guess and then I think I'm gonna need let me just switch you to the other hand and um, See if it's worked. I'll laugh if it's a disaster. Oh, it's good! Look at that! Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> Leveling up my frothy coffee making here. That's so good. I got this from eBay. It was only a couple of pounds or three pounds, I think, and um, it took only a few days to arrive. A couple of days, actually, quicker than I thought it would be. There, there's candy cane, there's a holly leaf, there's a snowman, there's some other ones as well that aren't Christmas themed, but yeah, that's a nice little stocking filler. If you have anyone who loves a coffee, um, makes their own frothy coffee, then you know you need to buy for them. You need to get a little stocking filler. Could do worse than that. I'll link it below anyway. I'm really chuffed with my snowflake coffee thingamajig. I'm in Will's room. That's the unit I want to tidy and get everything from out, sort it, push it back. He hasn't got it in any particular order, so it needs rearranging and tidying. So hopefully the stuff on the top, like the records and what have you, will actually go into one of the cubby holes. That's my plan. So I think I'm going to get my laptop Put on I'm a Celebrity. Sorry, you can't see me, can you? The light. Such a beautiful day out there. Um, yeah, sorry. Losing my train of thought. So I think I'm going to get my laptop, put I'm a Celebrity on and crack on with that. Because that will be a good job done once that's um, sorted. So, yeah, that's my plan, I think. Good news, by the way. Not for you, for me. Um... Not particularly bad news for you, but my understanding of support bubbles here in the UK was that you could only form a support bubble if one of the households was a single adult household. And it transpires that you can I don't know if the rules have changed or if they've been expanded, but I'm pretty sure that was how it was worded to start with. But I checked on it again and 
if one if there's a household with two adults and one of them is a carer for the other one um one of them is a full-time carer for the other one you can form a support bubble with them so it means that i can form a support bubble with my mum and dad which is great and even better news it means that i can t therefore take my mum away for a night so she hasn't had a night away from my dad since we went away in january um and we're going to go to a hotel on Thursday for the night. I'm going to go and pick her up in Bournemouth. We're going to go to Southampton and stay in a hotel for the night. And my brother is going to look after my dad. And that's just really nice. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be so nice. It's going to be so nice for my mum just to be able to get away, even though it's only for one night. And, um, yeah, so that's really good. I've just noticed in the reflection of Will's TV screen... Can you see Ron is asleep on the roof there? He's just, oh, I don't, it's not, just there, I think. I'm not sure if you can see him in the camera or not. Yeah, you can, just about. Bet I can't see him if I look out. He's hit, oh no, I just about see him there, look. Bless his little cotton socks, fast asleep sunbathing. I've done it. I've done that unit, apart from the four boxes down in that corner because they're full of computer bits and wires and stuff that I don't know if he needs or not. I've already got this box here completely full of stuff that he needs to go through and see if he needs or not. Honestly it was a bloody massive undertaking sorting out this room. I just need to sort out or I'm probably just going to move this lot onto the bed for the moment. Um, so at least the cleaner can get in here tomorrow and clean it. The dust from behind the books, I can't tell you. It was biblical. Biblical it was. Oh, God, I'm absolutely exhausted. Honestly, I've got a headache. I'm tired. I don't know what's up with me today. My God, the sunlight is making filming very difficult. I am not complaining about the sunlight for one minute, but... Every time I turn the camera on, I need to move or adjust something. It's time for the charity jar. I forgot to do it yesterday, I think it was. The whole thing is a blur now. I don't know when. Yesterday, tomorrow. Vlogmas gets like that. We're a week in now, aren't we? Um, so I'm going to pick two today. That's one. And let's get a, another one. Two. And... Let's have a look what we've got. The first one is from Lorraine Reeves, who said, says even, women's aid, domestic violence against women and children, providing refuge, outreach, advocacy, and children's support services. Yeah, I've heard of women's aid. I don't know loads about what they do, but um, a very worthy charity and um, nice to have one that's female-based, obviously, being a female myself. <laughs> Um, so yes, I will very gladly donate to them, Lorraine. Thank you very much for suggesting them. Sorry, it's just Ashley coming in through the door. Fixed your lights. Which ones? The ones oh, thank you. That's good. He's a little gem, isn't he? The next one is from... Sorry? <laughs> lettuce little gem lettuce ah, see what he did there the second nomination is from wendy drame um i hope i've pronounced that right wendy um and she says i'd like to lo nominate a local charity to me in leeds for your december vlogmas it's called homeless street angels and helps get homeless people off the streets in leeds they visit leeds city center every week and take hot food clothes and toiletries to those in need and when they are successful at rehousing people they help them furnish the house with basics too that's a great charity um homelessness is just can't even imagine being homeless and how awful it must be and it's um, something that I've been thinking about a lot recently because some a relation of somebody very close to me um, has recently experienced a situation of homelessness and they are no longer homeless at this point but they were and um, 
very difficult for them so yes thank you to wendy and to lorraine for those charity nominations i will do the donations and as usual the last screen the, i put the screenshots of the donations as the last thing you see on this video i have just come into the bedroom it's about half past nine to go to bed and i've seen the camera on the side and realized that i haven't filmed anything at all since about two o'clock this afternoon that was a vlogging fail wasn't it <laughs> absolutely hopeless oh sorry it's going to be a very yawny clip this i've been um, going through the comments from yesterday's video and it's so interesting to see such a massive response from you guys in terms of the worry that I talked about yesterday, how I worry about William, and so many, it's obviously resonated with so many people, and in the nicest possible way, it's nice to know that so many of you worry in exactly the same way. You're talking about checking if they're on WhatsApp and the social media and um, having those same feelings and the sort of gut-wrenching worry, even though you know it's okay, and it's yeah in the nicest possible way it's so nice to know that there's other people who go through it the same because as i said to you yesterday i do beat myself up about not being able to deal with it well and having all those silly baseless worries but yeah knowing that it's obviously resonated with so many of you and you feel the same is that uh, makes me feel a bit less ridiculous about it really so that that's but yeah, really interesting. I'm glad that I talked about it on here because I, I wasn't going to to start with. And then, um, yeah, I'm glad that I did that. So that's really nice. Um, anyway, I think we'll wrap up today here. I'm sorry I've looked so awful all day. I've um, not put any makeup on all day. I've not left the house. I have actually. I had a wander around the garden in the sunshine, which was quite nice. But I um, haven't left the premises let's say that um a bit more activity tomorrow i think a bit more um going out and about there certainly is because we're going out in the morning and i will be taking you with me for that but that's it for now um yes i'll see you again tomorrow thank you all very much for watching i'm really appreciating all your comments and um likes and everything over the period of vlogmas really appreciate them um, i know there's a lot a lot of content out there to be watching at the moment so I do appreciate every single view and every single one of you who joins in um, and watches and comments and all of that stuff. I'm rambling now so I'm going. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.